Hey there, my favorite goobers. This is Ryan coming to you from The Biggest Goober with the second episode of 10 Thoughts of the Day. Now, our question last week was, why do people like to watch people? I think this is actually a really deep question for our first episode, and I really appreciate all of your feedback. Basically, I've come up with three different reasons why people would want to watch people. The first is just for entertainment. The second is to gain a perspective on their own lives. And the third is for learning purposes. First off is entertainment. Watching people is just fun. It's super convenient because there's going to be people everywhere you go. Even if you just go to a mall, there's hundreds of people to watch. And second of all, it's free. Somebody mentioned that everybody passing by seems to be kind of a mystery to be solved. You can wonder where they're coming from, where they're going, and what business they have going on. Which reminds me of Christopher Nolan's 1998 film, Following, which is about this guy that starts following all kinds of strangers, and he starts getting involved in their lives. It's kind of weird and creepy. But the same idea goes, just sitting there on a mall bench, it's kind of fun to sit there and try to figure out what people are doing. One thing I mentioned last week was, why would somebody want to watch reality TV shows or even watch YouTube channels like ours instead of going out and experiencing those things for themselves. And somebody mentioned that in watching that you kind of get the same idea and sense of participation without spending money or even getting up from your own computer. The second area is perspective. I think in watching other people we get a sense of where we are at in our own lives. Um, especially with teenagers everybody says that they are trying to find themselves or figure out who they are. I think by watching other people, we can kind of get a perspective on our own lives. Whether that's watching other people's problems and figuring out that our lives aren't so bad, or whether that's trying to figure out how to solve our own problems by learning from their problems. No matter what culture you're from, I think it's very natural for people to continue to strive to define what is and what is not normal. Now to me, this is not normal, but in some parts of Africa, this is just what all the cool kids do. Now as people learn to define what is normal, then they can decide whether they want to be what is considered normal or whether they actually want to separate themselves from it. Now I think this learning process goes all the way back to early childhood when little kids are trying to figure out, even just in the home, what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. This takes me into the third area, which is learning. Learned behavior is basically a process by which one person will observe an activity or behavior and then either imitate that or avoid that. Now back in the 1980s, a dude named Alfred Bandura was doing some experiments in learned behavior called the Bobo Doll Experiments. Basically, the general idea was that he would have little kids sit and watch as grown-ups beat up this doll and then he would leave the children in a room with the doll and see whether they exhibited those same violent behaviors on the doll. What he learned from that was that learned behavior is a very powerful process and the kids were very quick to pick up on that violent behavior and exhibit that towards the doll as well. One of our viewers is a U.S. Marine and he was talking about how his training led him to observe people because he would always want to establish whether or not that person was a threat to the operation. So even in that example, there's observation for learning purposes. So the three reasons I've come up with why people watch people are for entertainment, for perspective on their own lives, and for learning purposes. For our next episode of 10 Thoughts of the Day, I am going to give some observations about eye doctors. So I would like you to comment and contact me with stories that you have either about eye doctors or dentists or really any doctor that you'd like to. The three ways you can contact me are by commenting on this video or by seeing one of the two links below for either Gmail or Facebook page. I have decided that I'd like to have a bit of fun with this tape recorder just as you had. If it sounds good, I may well leave it on tape. However, if it sounds rubbish, I hope I can find a way to take it off tape before you come home.